Hi, I'm Alan on this video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Drama Rush. Today, we're going to be doing one in Demon of Each difficulty. I haven't done this in a hot minute, but I thought, hey, why not? I, it just sounds like something that could be fun today. So, what we're doing is, first and foremost, we're going to Easy Demon. That is completed. There we go. So, we're going to be starting off with the Conduit by Itkiba. This is a Xenoblade level. Very exciting. I'm going to be playing an easy, medium, hard, insane, and extreme demon today. So, hope you guys enjoy. So, let's just hop into it. Dude, I'm so out of the whole YouTube recording shtick. The Conduit. This is... Oh, I have so much to say about this level. It's a Xenoblade-inspired level for... And for those of you who do not know Xenoblade Chronicles, 1, 2, and 3 are my three favorite games of all time. Um, Firstly, this very beginning part. This, this, is, this is inspired by Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm pretty sure that's the one Kiba likes the most. This first part is inspired by the land of Moritha, which for those of you who do not know is the um, the birthplace of Klaus, which is name dropped a little bit later in the level and it turned to ruin. A little bit of spoiler, by the way, for those of you who haven't played the game, but it, it turns to ruin through the creation event, which is done through the use of the conduit, which is, well, the, the number of is named after it, right? <laughs> It's named after the conduit. So it's just, it, it takes place in the aftermath of Klaus's realm, I suppose you can say. But it's very cool. It's really cool. I I, I, I love it. I, I'm such a huge <laughs> Xenoblade nerd, if it wasn't obvious enough. Anyway, that core that you saw there, Antos, Xenoblade 3, Xenoblade 2, people you guys will know that this little section right here this little screen is kind of a spoiler i'm not gonna lie because it just kind of like briefs you on what happens so basically what the conduit does is that it has uh these powers to make humanity get closer to becoming divine basically turning into god klaus is like the spearhead of the conduit um project and he turns him essentially into what is god and it's really cool it's really cool i like how loose this is based on Xenoblade and not just like a complete game ripoff uh, because I have complained in the past about levels that like take a game and just rip assets off it and just use that game as its main source of everything and this doesn't really do that like this is such a this, this level is so loosely based on xenoblade uh the background here the, the little guy in the background this little guy that's the conduit but it's so loosely based on xenoblade that if you didn't know that it was based on xenoblade you wouldn't really know and i think that's really awesome i like that i think that's much cooler than just having the, the entire level just rip asses from Xenoblade and create that into a level. I think this level is awesome. Totally not biased in the fact that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is my favorite game of all time. But that's beside the point. Let's beat this level. This level is awesome. I love it. It's fantastic. I could I could make like hour long videos talking lore and just my feelings through or about Xenoblade. <laughs> so yeah, I understand. You just let me beat the level already. I, I've spent so long on this level for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why this level is taking me so long, but it has, and I don't like it. This could unironically be the level that I take the longest on, that's just not the extreme. Okay, nice. I think a little bit longer than it should have, but that's whatever. I really like the level, but admittedly, I do think the gameplay is a little bit boring. And because of the fact that it's actually like a tough level, you can get stuck on it for a little bit too long. That's fine. I really like it still. I think it's a cool level. Gotta collect our quests. There we go. Now let's move on to the medium demon. Let's do blue cheese. I don't know why, but blue cheese sounds funny. And it's a scale level. Which means it probably has pretty 
rough gameplay, but damn, it's fine, right? Skell admittedly does not have the best track record of great gameplay, but it's a medium demon. It can't be that bad, right? Okay. This is a cool level. I actually kind of like it. It has an off, off gameplay a little bit here and there. There's a lot of buffer clicking. So you're kind of like forced to remember what to do. But that's fine. That's fine. I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be an interesting and enjoyable time. Skell always makes unique levels that aren't like very hard. Uh, Ronald goes to McDon being a personal favorite of mine. And this one is pretty good as well. I like it. I like it. Ooh, yeah, that's what I mean by rough gameplay. Like stuff like this, right? Stuff like that should not ever happen, basically. But it happens a lot in skill levels. And I don't really know why he decides to make his levels so, like, sketchy. But the, the sketchiness of his levels is kind of, like, his main drawback. I feel like his gameplay is really fun, but because of how sketchy they are, make one, like, tiny mistake, even with, like, a buffer or whatever, and you're just kind of, like, screwed, like, way down the line. Which I think is a pretty bad trait to have for your levels, personally. Uh, but it's fine, right? It's whatever. No, I died to the same thing again, even though I'm buffering every single input. Why? Can 66 not be bad? <sighs> I'm really getting unlucky with my level picks today, aren't I? Holy sh... I'm not even unlucky. I'm just picking levels that for some reason I just can't do. <laughs> and this happens to be one of them. I don't know, it just kind of sucks when you, when it, when it's a cool level, it just doesn't want to function the way it's supposed to, right? Okay, nice. Cool. Very nice. I should have not died to 66 like five times, but hey, I was perfectly fine, right? Cool. Very cool. Very nice level. I like it, but I do wish that it was playtested a little bit better, but that's just skill levels in general, right? For the hard demon, I actually want to do this one just because I saw it uh, in the GDDP server the other day and it looked really funky because this is the LDM. What do you mean? Wait, I'm confused. How did I turn on the full detail? Help. Anyway, this level just looked funny to me because the gameplay itself, you, you're, you're, you're just going to see what, ha what when I get there, okay? Yeah! <laughs> this, is this, this, this is the reason I wanted to play this level. It's just funny stray fly simulator in a hard demon, bro. That was really sketchy. Nice. Dude, this level is so good. This level is so fun. What an awesome level. <laughs> I really like this. I don't know why. I don't know why I like this level as much as I do. That is just really fun. Really, really good. Arnak Laposte. Laposte? Laposte? By LP44. Absolute banger. Next up is the new GDDP uh, edition through the Aether by BDDib111. Let's hop into this. This is a wave level, so hopefully it's not the hardest thing of all time. Very interesting level. I love a color base, so I'm a huge fan of the song. I can I can give it a shot. I think I, I think I'm good enough at it. This level is pretty tricky though. I'm not gonna lie. Like this is decently hard. I'm gonna die to this black room so many times, bro. Oh, I didn't. Damn. Okay. Hacker mode engaged. Oh, that's okay. 
Uh, see, no, that is a hard gap, though. I don't know why that gap is so hard. Like, this, this, this levelism random has really tough wave gaps. Like, randomly, you'll just be like, oh, that's, like, hard. That fits an extreme demon, not an easy, insane demon. And then you're just kind of like, oh, I guess it's hard, lol. What do you mean? I literally tapped my keyboard and it just... Pew! Hate this level, dude. It's just die to the same two clicks over and over again. Yes. Oh, that sucked, dude. I did not like that level at all. That was not fun to me. Now dead. Um, GDP. Where are the Nong songs downloads? Wait, that's a thing I can do. I just kind of held by accident. Why can I go up here? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <laughs> I'll just do that then. Easy. That's definitely not what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Ooh, that felt nice. That felt that felt really cool, dude. I I, I will never understand how people burp on command. That shit is actually like top one, genuine top one difficulty. Burp on command. Harder than fragile. Harder than hard machine. Harder than everything. Harder than Acron. Like how do you consume air and then just? <laughs> yeah, but how do you do that, Mist? Like you can't just say, oh, you just breathe in air and compress it in your throat. How the f do you compress air in your throat on command? How does that work? I feel like it's one of those like, oh, wiggling your ears, bro. That shit's easy. Just move your ears. <laughs> yeah, it's my, my first L ever taken. It can't burp on command. I'll just play from zero. Three? No way. Fourteen? What? Twenty-four? The frick did I just die to? There's a thing there? What? 53. <sighs> 68! This yellow orb sucks, bro. Yes, I fluked the ending. Thank you. Ugh. God, that took so much longer than it needed to, bro. I liked the level. I was just getting frustrated with how ass I was just bleh, you know? 100! Sorry, my bad. Forgot about the reaction. Scripted reaction failure.